Making complex treatment as easy as putting on a bandage. Researchers are getting ready to test a revolutionary idea created to make caring for America's veterans easier. News Science Kevin Berry explains why Northeast Ohio is developing treatment that could help America's heroes. A decade as an Army medic with a deployment to Iraq means Danielle Krikora has seen a lot. One of the, the most um, damaging things are roadside bombs. And those injuries suffered in an instant often stick with America's veterans in some way for the rest of their lives. Soldiers can't really um, begin to heal from the mental scars that are caused by trauma before the physical ones can heal. But as vets age and their health care becomes more challenging, even the physical wounds can be harder to close. That's where Dr. Kath Bogie's Exaflex bandage comes in. We're specifically looking at chronic wounds, which are basically wounds that don't heal. She says the traditional way to treat chronic wounds, whether from the battlefield or from diseases like diabetes, doesn't work very well for many veterans. A lot of times it involves having to come all the way to the hospital to get electric stimulation therapy for only a few minutes and then having to do it all over again the next day. And that's a huge burden for the patient. It's actually not very good for wound healing if you take a bandage off every day. Exaflex has the electric stimulation built into the bandage with sensors to collect information and eventually pass it along to users and their doctors. You could look at this as like generation two for the wearable technology area. Case Western Reserve University's Chris Zorman led the engineering side of the project. He says the first generation of wearable tech are products that monitor our bodies like Fitbits and Apple watches, Exaflex monitors and treats. This device is is actively doing something in a closed loop manner to engage in um, healing of the wound. Danielle says this is about more than just convenience. Better treatment can mean less pain and fewer serious treatments later in life. We're avoiding that traumatic amputation that they might face down the road. In Cleveland, I'm Kevin Barry, News 5.